Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. And if you've already been here, as always, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel by clicking on this video and welcome back. We're gonna be doing this very minimalistic makeup look. I already did a look like this on my channel a few weeks ago, but someone asked me for the drugstore version and of course I obliged. If you haven't already, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And without further ado, if you want to see how I achieved this very simple, honestly, honestly, this, this is like a 10 minute look. You can actually do this in the car, drugstore edition, keep on watching. So I do want to point out that I do have on lash extensions. They do need to be filled in, but I'm not going to do anything extra to that area because it just is what it is. I just did a video like this on my channel about a month ago and one of you guys commented and asked for a drugstore version. We kind of have that give take relationship. I give you guys content, you guys take what you will from it and give me the views. You know what I mean? So it's like give, take, give. Is that what that is? All right, anyway, that's not even important. See how I get sidetracked? But we're gonna do that look today because I have some errands to run and I've been loving looking put together leaving the house that's been one of my favorite things to do lately even if I'm putting on a little bit of makeup even if it's just a little bit I have been enjoying it so when I'm not doing too much with foundation I like to fill in my brows first I'm gonna be using this wet and wild brow pencil I always rave about this one it's in the shade deep brown I went to Ulta and bought like five of them because whenever I run out of these, I have to I have to get more. This is my favorite drugstore brow pencil. I don't really know what it is about light colored hair and dark brows, but I am so here for it. I'm gonna conceal underneath my brows, but first I'm going to conceal underneath my eyes. And I'm using this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Caramel. And... Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna apply the concealer under the eyes. on the nose, a little bit on the chin, put a little bit on the forehead. If you have any problem areas, feel free to conceal those too. I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit in here. This is way more concealer than I would have liked to use. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit just so that I can maximize the coverage. I'm using the Cream Putty Bronzer by e.l.f. And I'm using the shade Bronzed Bell. I'm not necessarily looking for a contoured look, just more of a bronzed look. I just want to look like I've been laying in the sun. My tan is fading and it's stressing me. Bring that on my hairline so we can blend the lace. Am I out of focus? Oh my God, I hope I'm not out of focus. Come on, Canon, don't fail me now. We've been doing great. Oh, yes. This bronzer is doing what it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna take that along my jawline. Get rid of the double chin. Now we're gonna blend out the concealer.
That concealer is much lighter than I would have wanted it to be, but that's okay because we're going to take the brush that we used for the bronzer and just blend. Blend. And take that here on the side of the nose. To the forehead, blend. And the chin. And we're just blending, we're just blending it all together. It's all gonna tie together in the end, just blend. We're not using any foundation today. I don't know if I said that. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm just gonna like press it. Press it together a little bit so it's even flatter. Go back into the concealer and take that underneath the brow bone just to clean up the brows and add that highlighted look. And I'm gonna just take whatever I have left on my brush and just bring it forward a little bit. Go back with the bronzer brush, go into this part, use a light hand. You're gonna pretty much like bronze this area and then use it to blend out the brow highlight. It makes it look a little more seamless on this side as opposed to the harshness on that side. So I'm gonna do that again and use a very light hand and just dust it over. I saw someone commented on my last video and was like, you clearly used eyeshadow. And I'm like, no, baby. No, I didn't. I used bronzer, but if she would have watched the whole video, you would see that I used my bronzer as my eyeshadow. <laughs> to set underneath my eyes and the highlighted areas, I'm gonna use this powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Medium Deep. 30. I've had this powder for a very long time. I don't know if I'm even supposed to still have this, but we're gonna use it today. I'm just gonna set. I'm gonna use the Milani blush. I've been loving this. I use this like every single day. <laughs> it's the Milani cream blush in the shade Coral Crush. I'm just gonna take this stippling brush and stipple that on my cheeks. Look at how pigmented that is. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And just take a beauty blender. I'm just gonna pat it in. And when you pat it in with a beauty blender, it presses it into the skin nicely. So it looks very natural. And so now that we are done with the blush, the bronzer, the highlight, and setting the highlight, I'm gonna go back into the bronzer. I'm gonna take this very small flat brush and I'm gonna just put that run that a little bit along my lower lash line and this just adds a little bit of definition to the eyes so you don't even need mascara on the bottom lash line for the final step we're gonna add gloss I've been obsessed with you guys obsessed with NYX butter gloss I have literally every single color in like multiples of certain colors. But I'm using the shade Sugar High. It's like a pinkish nude. And then I just like to like dab it off a little bit. So it looks like I have on lip liner, but I don't. I'm just wearing gloss. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. 
let's go over all the products that you need or that I used for this look. The eyebrow pencil, concealer, bronzer, blush, lip gloss. Oh, and powder, powder. And then you know what? To be fair, I have on lash extensions. If I didn't have on lash extensions, I wouldn't do anything with my eyes. I'm gonna be honest with you guys because I don't hate the no mascara, no lash look. So I will tell you, you can skip blush if you want to add lashes, just skip the blush or use your bronzer as your blush. But anyway, that is it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm about to go and run my errands. I am vlogging today, so be sure to check out the vlog. It'll be up after this because I think this one is going to go up tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram at I am Shelly. I've been posting so much more over there on my stories. And yeah, I don't know. It's a vibe. Go follow me <laughs> on Instagram. And until next time, you guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh,